everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We are moments away from what should be an excellent matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Atlanta Falcons. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Minnesota Vikings and the Atlanta Falcons. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And in front of a raucous crowd, this one is underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by the man taking number three overall back in 2008. It's their now veteran quarterback, Matt Ryan. And at times, it's hard for me to believe I'm saying veteran Matt Ryan. Still remember him coming out of Boston College, full of enthusiasm, mastered their two-minute drill in his first OTA. What a play. Well, he's going to take a shot right up. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And tough sledding. They'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Here now the offensive starters for Atlanta. And last night, we were discussing some of the changes they've made offensively during the offseason. And we know it helps for them to have the first game at home. Hopefully this crowd, which we saw coming in, they've been here for a while, ready to go. You and I should have joined the tailgates, that's for sure. They're going to give plenty of encouragement. They'll try and ride that wave and get their first victory of the year. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Quickly now, a look at the defensive starters for Minnesota. Eric Kendricks is another one of those bloodline guys in the NFL. His brother Michael also applies his trade as a linebacker. And Eric's trying to show him he's the best in the family. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. No, no, no. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And Hopkins' kick is good. But hang on, a 
flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Throwing on second down. Ryan, that's caught by Hollister. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big-time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Let's go, baby! Let's go! So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the former Louisville Cardinal, Teddy Bridgewater. To me, the best part of Teddy Bridgewater's game is his decision-making. Very smart, loves to watch the game, loves to analyze it, and he does it so well, he takes care of the football and keeps his team in good spots. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. The completion good for three and it's second down. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. Let's take a look here at the offense for Minnesota. Obviously a tough test for this offense right out of the gate. Road game in game one of the new year. Conventional wisdom says go slow, take care of the football. I think in this case, attack early and get the home team back on their heels. On second down, it's Cook. And three yards there takes him to the 45. That's it, baby. The starting defense for the Falcons. Desmond Trufant has made a great reputation in a short amount of time in the NFL. A lockdown corner that most teams don't attempt to try. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. From the gun, Bridgewater. Got him, man, it's right. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. First down, here's the run with Cook. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Throwing his bridge runner. Complete to right. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Back to the ground, Cook. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. And the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 16. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. Powering his way. And now look at him go. Touchdown, Falcons. Calvin Ridley, 78 yards. And the Falcons push further out in front. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Tech McKinley made his way into the backfield. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him up right so they can throw the football. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Give him 18 there and give the Vikings a first down. On first down, Cook. Cook with a first down and much more. And he gets it all the way down to the three. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. A three-yard touchdown run. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Prater for the extra point. And that'll make our score 14-7. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. He completes it to Jones. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And that will get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. On first and 10, it's Ryan. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. On second and inches, Ryan. He goes underneath to Freeman. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Goal line offense, something they've really been emphasizing in practice lately. Now they have a chance here to put all that hard work to use. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Coverage there by the safety, Harrison Smith. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. 
He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. Here's Ryan. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Matt Ryan now three first-half touchdown passes. And the Falcons push further out in front. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. This fielded at the two. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Grady Jarrett with the tackle. On second and seven, Bridgewater going deep. for. That's caught inside the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Stephon Diggs, 66 yards as his guys are back within a single score. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post grab? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. It's player spotlight time, and we focus that spotlight on the quarterback, Matt Ryan. He's enjoying a great deal of success. His team about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now Ryan. And this will be incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. To throw is Ryan. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. These two offenses have gone up and down the field so far in the first half. Finally, finally, I say, here's a stop on third down. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. They had a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Ricardo Allen, the safety, makes the stop. From the 16, Bridgewater. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Bridgewater now. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Throwing again, Bridgewater on second and ten. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 29-yard line. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. First down now, but that clock rolling. 
the red zone now. Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. And the Falcons grab it. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. He already had the one fumble loss, so now two fumbles lost here in this first half. Not setting the pace the way that you want it done. I mean, here in the first half, already twice the ball's come out and hit the turf. Got to find a way to take care of it. Otherwise, they may have to start thinking about maybe someone different at that position. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Ryan. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Ryan. Gets it off to Freeman. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Fair catch called. It's taken in 